Good morning, Tahmina Khan is here. Uh, today I have come with the explanation of logarithm and exponential of P3 A-level mathematics CAI syllabus and in this topic I will cover the questions of logarithmic and exponential function and in video 2 I will cover linear law. So question I have picked up from the past paper which will help you to understand what type of questions are asked and how they are solved. So before I start on the top you can see the blog address of my blog tkmathsisfun.blogspot.com the link of all my videos is up there so you can refer for uh, taking help in other topics okay so let's start first of all we need to revise the laws of logarithm and laws of indices so these two which we have done in class uh, maybe 9, 8 so let's revise them laws of logarithm base 10 log is represented usually by LG and base e by ln. By the way, what I am revising here is uh, considered as a prerequisite knowledge, right? So you should know if you don't know, so let's have a revision here. So log 10 base 10 is equals to 1, which is usually written as lg10. So when it is lg10, it means it is base 10. And when you are defining log, log of a number, which is x of base a, is equals to b there are certain limitations this number for which you are ask, um, defining the log has to be greater than 0 and base has to be greater than 0 but it cannot be equals to 1 so these two conditions you always have to keep in your mind and log of 1 no matter what base is is always equals to 0 now when I say whatever base don't forget this condition this condition has to be applicable all the time and this is um, quotient rule for log. Log a divided by b is equals to log a minus log b. Now this is a product rule. A b. Log a into b is equals to log a plus log b. And this is power law it is called. When we apply log on the index number, it can be written as power goes here as a multiplier. And it becomes r times lgx. And then, very important, how do we change log form into index form? So it is x is equals to a power b. So this is a relation between logarithm and indices. So these are the laws of logarithm. Now let's come to the laws of indices. Okay. So if two bases are same and there is multiplication while powers are different, then it means you will add the power. If there is division sign, base is same, power is different, then you subtract the power. If power is same, bases are different and you are multiplying those index number, then it is equals to a times b power n. If it is division sign between two index number when bases are different and power is same then it is a divided by b and then you can apply power n if it is a power n and you want to take it in the index uh, sorry in the denominator then sign of power will change it will become minus and any number with base i mean with power 0 is always equals to 1 if you have index number and you are multiplying it by another power, then powers are multiplied. So these are the laws of indices, right? So now let's go to the question and we will see the application of these laws over there. Okay, so this question is from June uh, of 4, question number 4. And question says, if y is equals to 2 power x, then the equation this can be written as a quadratic equation in y. So first of all you have to show that if you substitute 2 power x equals to y in this equation then you can change this equation into quadratic equation of y. So let's see how. We just learn one rule then when it is 2 power minus x or whatever power when we take this index in the denominator the sign of the power changes. So what we are doing here we are taking it in the denominator and it will become 2 power x. Now we will replace 2 power x by y which was given to us in the question. 
you can see here so I have replaced here and I have replaced here after that I am taking LCM so this y multiplies by this y square minus 1 equals to 1 and divide by y then cross multiplication and then you got quadratic equation of y this was part number 1 of the question now part 2 of the question was saying hence solve this equation right now quadratic equation this which was given in the question has changed into quadratic of y so you will simply apply quadratic formula and I hope you remember this formula because again it's a prerequisite knowledge and then you're applying quadratic formula you can see slowly if you want to put the video on pause and try out yourself you can so you got two um, answers of y which are 1.618 and minus 0 0.618 now the actual equation is in x so our solution will be the answer of x not y so still it is incomplete so to complete it what we will do any idea i don't want to show you the solution right now yes we will take the substitution we have taken so we started with y is equals to 2 power x so i am substituting this value of y here and it is equals to 2x now we know when we have to bring x down we saw the rule power law of log so I will take log on both sides so I am taking log here and log here now I am taking LG if you want to take LN on both sides it's fine answer will come same you can try it out so after taking log on both sides I am bringing x down here and then simple division and I got 0 0.694 right so this solution is coming by taking y equals to 1.618 so now let's see can we do this part also or not y is equals to minus 0 0.618 if I take LG on both side now we know log is not defined for negative numbers so I have shown this step just to explain it to you otherwise when you get this answer you can write here not possible if you can figure it out mentally otherwise show few steps and here you can write not possible because log is not defined for negative number right so let's go to next question okay so when I was looking for the question I found this one and it is exactly the same what I have just solved in question one so I decided not to solve this one and you try it out yourself and you can see the answer from June 7 question 4 so I selected the other question which was June 08 question number now this question is given in this form right and question is saying solve correct to three significant figure now in this question no substitution is given to you like in the previous question hint was given to you that take y is equals to 2 power x so whenever there is plus or minus sign it is understood uh, I mean between the terms index number we have to take substitution this is just way um, to solve it and you should understand this technique and we always take substitution for the smallest power so I will take a substitution of e power x so I will say let e power x equals to t and we know e power 2x can be written like this because I told you one of the law is that powers can be multiplied so I will get this question back similarly this can be written as this and after that I am taking substitution of t in place of e power x so I got this equation cubic equation there is no constant so I can take t common out ok so after taking t common out now it means either t equals to 0 or this thing equals to 0 we know this thing so now my purpose is not to find the answer of t it was rather to find the answer of x because the original equation was given in x so I will go back to the substitution and substitute this answer here in place of t I will write 0 and ex is here again to bring x down I will apply power law so I need log here so I am taking ln now usually it is helpful I mean just um, reduce your working 
if with e you take ln on both side the reason is ln e is equals to 1 there is nothing else but anyway in this case it was not possible because log is not defined for 0 it is always defined for positive number we have checked the law right so you can write not possible let's go to the second answer so from here we also got that t square minus t minus 1 equals to 0 so this is a quadratic equation I'm applying quadratic formula I got these two values of t1 positive and 1 negative so now these values I'm plugging in in the substitution because I took t equals to e power x so I'm taking this value and this value and going back to my substitution original so t is equals to this so I have written 1.618 in place of t so when I solved it I will apply ln on both side and then this x as a power will come here as a multiplier and ln e is equals to 1 so the answer of this is 0 0.4812 so this is my one answer and let's come to this one I explained in the last question but let's see again if I take ln on both side this will be negative ln which is not possible so you can write not possible okay so let's go to the next question <clears throat> okay this question I have taken from November 10 variant 3 1 question 2 I try to take out different types of 4 5 questions so that you can understand its application basically okay so now if you look at this question there are three terms first second and third question is saying give your answer in three significant figure so now we will apply uh, rules of law and let's see what will I do actually there are two three ways to solve this question so I have picked up the one which in my experience a student find um, easy basically so I'm taking this ln here this term but before that I have applied power law and took it up here so it will become x square right after that if you see ln has base e same is here so I can apply quotient rule because minus sign is here so this divided by x square because if you remember we did this rule okay, ln a over b is equals to ln a minus ln b right so I'm applying this rule here which will help me to get this and from here I'm changing it into index form now if you remember this also I explain it to you this is log form this is index form x is equals to e power b because ln means base is e so x is equals to e power b so I'm applying this rule here it is this thing is equals to e power 1 and after that I'm doing cross multiplication now these two terms have x square I'm bringing it to one side and then before I show you the solution what will I do any idea yes I will take x square common out right okay so now let's take x square common out so e has a constant value we know it so e minus 1 I will take down here 1 over e minus 1 calculate the value because it is x square so you will take root of it and question was saying give answer in three significant figure so 0 0.7628 can be written as 0 0.763 so let's see another question it is more or less same so but because student find log at times a little difficult they have forgotten they uh, because they have done log in which year in add mass basically and those who did not have add mass have not done it before so for them it is a little difficult at times anyway so this question is from June 11 variant 3 2 and question is saying write the equation in quadratic equation in x okay so exactly what we did in the previous question before I show you the solution can you tell me what will I do think yes yes this term you can take to this side and it will become plus right 
so i have just written the question again so i'll show you the solution okay so now so here i am taking this term to this side okay and it is equals to 5 now because base is same when base of a log is same in both the term you can apply apply what product rule here right so x times x plus 5 and then from here i am applying index form what is that this thing is equals to 2 power 5 we have seen this law previously so it will help me to get the quadratic equation and next part of the question was saying solve it so when you are solving it you will apply simple quadratic formula and you will get two values of x and these are your values of x what do you say you will you write both are the answers no the reason is whenever the log question is given to you you must have to check answers either they are true or not what do i mean by that let's see one answer is plus other in the other is minus let's see what was the equation this was the equation if i put that negative value of x here log for negative value is not defined okay that value was minus 8.68 and if i apply here again it will give me negative answer and log is not defined for negative answer so that answer is not acceptable by the way even if it satisfied one of the term and does not satisfy the other you will reject that answer right in this case it is not satisfying both the term anyway so you will write the final answer as 3.68 as like this in the bracket if you will leave your answers here you will lose one mark okay so now let's see the last question uh, this is from june 11 variant 33 question 1 and this question is saying use logarithm to solve this equation 5 power 2x minus 1 equals to 2 3 power x do you know what is a common mistake which a student make here when they are solving these type of questions yes or no they usually multiply 2 by 3 and write down here 3 power x which is wrong right because 2 has power 1 3 has power x so you can't multiply they are two different terms so now again there are two three ways to solve it so i am solving one of the way i am taking log on both sides what gave me this idea because i have to bring x down right and x can come down only if i apply power law so i need to have log on both sides so i am taking lg on both sides after that this term will come down here and here I will apply product rule because these two are considered uh, as two different terms, separate terms. So it is LG2 plus LG3 power x. After that I am opening the bracket LG multiply by 2x, LG multiply by 1. And here I am applying power law bringing x down. This is coming as it is. Now this term and this term, they have x. So they need to be together because purpose is to find out the value of x okay so i'm bringing this term here and taking this term to this side after that i will take x common out and then what i'm simply using calculator this one has come after using calculator lg5 plus lg2 and you also know if you apply product rule here it will be lg2 times 5 is 10 and lg10 is 1 anyway so now i'm bringing this whole term underneath here in simple language we call it cross multiplication and i apply or use calculator to get the answer which is 1.09 so with this i finish my video of uh, logarithmic and exponential function and in my next next video i'll explain e linear law so thank you very much for watching the video if you liked it please do press like and press uh, subscribe button and i would appreciate your comments it is good for motivation uh, help me to get motivated and make more videos so thank you very much once again have a nice day allah hafiz bye bye